Today we are going to speak about two words, quite famous words, used always every day. Well, what are these words? Fatah, the PLO, and Hamas, the main troublemakers to Israel. No. What is behind the names Hamas, Fatah? You know quite well, there is a Talmud in Dr. Brachot, which takes on the verse. There is a verse which says that there are some Shamot Barats about God who brings destruction to the world. And our Rebbe tells us the letter Shamot should be changed to Shemot, to names. What is the idea? So then the idea is God gave names to countries, to people. That we will understand with whom we are dealing. Interesting, the Gemara says. So the idea of Al-Tikra Shamot al Shemot <laughs> definitely doesn't mean changing the meaning of the verse. But we have always, we spoke about it before in my books, in my books, which is the books of the language and letters of fire and what's in the name. I went into all this. You can get my books in Amazon.com in my site, GladiasonBooks.com, GladiasonBooks.com. So this is what our Rebbe is telling us. Yeah, I wrote a book, what's in the name? What? The name represents the essence of man, the essence of the country, the essence of everything. Therefore, our Rebbe, especially Rabbi Meir, has written that always when he met somebody he had to do like business with him, I said, what is your name, please, mister? And then he immediately analyzed his name. Very famous story about Rebbe who went Hotel, motel, what you hear. And the, exactly happened to be there on Shabbos. So we could not keep their money. It was the mooks. So they thought we'll give it to the motel owner. Then we'll ask him afterwards. No. They gave it. And the Rav Meir said, no, no, no. This person, his name, Kidor, showed me about crookedness and the Vilna Gaon says the Kiddo is in the miracle of Amalek. I'm a look at I'm a look at all. Who could people definitely? So, what happened Saturday night? The other Rebbe asked for the money. The owner said, What? Which money? No money. So, Rav Meir, who hid in money somewhere, got it. So they asked Rav Meir, Why did not tell him? I am worried to names. Names always have message. And? You have to try to understand as much as we can. So there are a lot of stories with Romer and others that he analyzed this. Men, names, right? A lot we talk about it in our book, what's in your name, you can get it. Amazon.com in my site. There's some books.com. But what is really behind those names, Patach and Hamas? There's Gimati of this. Names. It must be that there is a message of these two names, the troublemakers, most of the troubles, the Jews are suffering all over history, of the time of Abraham for the Philistines, <coughs> Hamas, and Patah. What are these kind of terrorists? What is their name? So, interesting. Gematia of these two names. <coughs> yeah, everything also Gematia is also. Message of importance in them. <clears throat> then, in fact, we also mentioned it is very important that everything in the world God created in such a way that you have free choice. It means every everything in the world, powers, characters, everything which God, people God can be used posit positively, definitely. and the opposite, yeah? And the same thing nations, right? Very famous was our Rebbe Stelas, that Amalekites, yeah, very, very cruel people, crooked and so on, are compared to snake. Snake is 358, but from the other side, 358 is Nacha, is a Mashiach, Messiah. Was the Messiah to do with the snake? So definitely, the Messiah represents holiness, the light of God, everything, happiness, 
שמחה, מצליח. Then snake represents the opposite. People who are only destroying and definitely are those uh, people who are fighting with Israel and killing them. So this is always like you have peace, shalom, 376, and you have the other side, Isu. Isu is a power which always brings wars in the world. You see what is going to die, yeah? The red ones. So everything is positive and negative. And let us see what is Patach and Hamas, why God gave these people this name. Okay, Hamas is so simple because Hamas, you know what is written? The flood came because the land was full of Hamas. Yeah, there are different explanations what is Hamas. It is robbery or kind of corruption and falsehood. Yeah, a lot of ideas which really the Hamas represent, yeah. Okay, what the Patach represent? No. We see just now. But let us start with interesting Gematria. Because Gematria also is one of the 32 that Torah is learned from. We'll see how it is. So, what is the Gematria of these forces? And also, tell us exactly what is behind. So, you will not believe it, but if you take the Gematria of Patach, P80, Tapo, and Chet, age. So, come, how much is come to? So, 488. Then, Patach. And Hamas, Chet, 8, then 40, summer, 108. Together, 596. What is 596? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Frightening. Was this Patach and Hamas to do with Yerushalayim? Yeah? <laughs> you know quite well, they are exactly the opposite, like the snake and Messiah. The thing is the opposite, the same thing here, Hamas and Patach are against Yerushalayim. They want Yerushalayim, but Yerushalayim means, what Yerushalayim? The meaning of the word Yerushalayim, Ira, fear, and peace, fear of God, and peace in the world, no? <laughs> Those people are going to bring peace to the world. They only pick murder. Murder. This is what they are doing. Murder, killing. So, Yerushalayim, positively, is a city of holiness, which brings fear of God. Yeah, it's written that people who came to Yerushalayim like, felt fear of God. Yeah. And Yerushalayim is a city of peace. But what the Patach Hamas are doing is exactly the opposite. So this gematia, interesting, of these two evil forces. But what is the, the letters, Patach Hamas, what does it represent? So the first thing, clearly one can see that both names have the letter Chet. Yeah? Patach Petet Chet. And Hamas, Chet Samech Mem. But both have this letter Chet. Hamas in the beginning, Chet, and then Patach the end. What is what the letter Chet? So if you saw my book, first by reading it, a lot about the letter Chet, the meaning of it. Chet, simple, means a sin. Yeah, sin. But Chet means much more in its shape. Our rabbis tell us. The, the letter Chet represent very physical, materialistic powers, which basically their aim, their goal is down on Earth. Yeah, Earth. How the Russian said, Mother Earth. Yeah. yeah, the Earth, the ground is Mother. Yeah, going to the ground, yeah. Ground to present physical things, materialistic things. And this is exactly Chet. A man with very much in sin, developing himself, aspiration, I call it like this. Like, what really is interesting in physical thing, enjoyment, physical enjoyment, whatever it is we see today, yeah. We see a lot of it in the internet, 
So this is a letter that sinning causes men to, unfortunately, that all his aims, all his goals in life will be physical, money, you know, all that, all kind of enjoyment. The opposite letter of Chet is Hey, which has opening on top, yeah? So Rabbi Selah, there is a chance if a man really unfortunately close himself in the physical, so there is a way to do Shuba to repent. There is an opening, and this is about the letter Hey represent. In fact, I wrote a whole book about repentance and brother interesting explanation, interpretation to the word Teshuvah Tashuv Hei, returning into the Hei, to the letter A. This is what the power of repentance does, bring you back to a situation. Okay, everyone even inclination to go down, but nevertheless, there's an opening on top. There is a will, desire to live spiritual life. And this is the letter A, Teshuvah. Basically, the word was created with the letter Hey, Hey, Abraham, our Rebbe Stelas, and Magmore, Menachet, God created the word with the letter Hey. Hey is also five, represents the five elements, it means the five main elements and the energy, which is electromagnetic, which joins them together. Okay, there's a lot behind this letter Hey. So, Chet of the Hamas and Chet of the Patach clearly showing that their goal is to kill, to destroy because of physical things, right? Okay, they say that they are Islam, Allah, Akbar. Yeah, but all this also for the physical, for the materialistic, on this name of God, they are killing people people chopping their head, burning them like Hamas did now, yeah? So Hamas has the head, this negative force. I'll tell you something interesting what our rabbis tell us. There's a letter head is the middle letter of the snake. In Hebrew, snake is Nachash. Nun, Chet, Shin. So the letter head is in the middle, the center of the Hebrew word Nachash, snake. And our Rebbe tell us why? Because Chet represents poison, evil. Yeah? Because the snake, the Hebrew letter Shen, this is the extreme letters of the Shen, like the outer letters of the word Nachash is Shin and Nun. Shen is snake. And the middle Chet, so our Rebbe tell us because the poison of the snake is between his teeth. So therefore, the Hebrew word nachash is teeth, then chet and poison, because it's really a poison, evil, yeah. No, this is a snake, this is not why Amalek is compared to snake. Amalek, the Hamas, all these evil forces want to destroy Israel, anti Semites, all these people have the poison in their speech, in their mouth, and this. Okay, amazing. So, chet, poison, evil, as we said, a result of sinning, definitely, doing against the will of God. So Hamas have Chet, and then he has the letter Mem Samech, which is Samech Mem. What is the letter Samech Mem? So the letter Samech, if you see in my book, represents really evil, the Satan, which is so interesting that Rav Sadok Cohen, one of the great commentators, brings that God gave Hebrew letters to men, he has 22, and he gave to each creature also a letter, not full letters, yeah? but every creature pronounces yeah, a letter. Yeah, interesting. In my book, I brought an interesting example. But the, one of them, he said, the snake. The snake, before he is going to... <laughs> Uh, to sting somebody, uh, to buy somebody, what is doing? Hissing. Yeah, hissing. What is hissing? Letter Samer. See? Samer is a letter which represents the Satan. This is why the Satan starts with Samer. This is why the Germans, the Nazis, liked very much SS. You know, they, they liked very much the S. 
Even some say that in English, the letter S is like a snake. You know? <laughs> yeah, this was a letter snake. Interesting explanation I wrote in my books. Summer is closed, yeah? For the closed people, capture pe catch people and capture, yeah, what we have today, yeah, captivity. So, Hamas have the letter Samer, definitely <laughs> Satan, and Mem. These two words, Sam, are the first two letters of the evil force of America, the heavenly minister of Amalek, which is Samech Mem, Sam, Kel, means Samech Mem, and the name of God, like every angel. He's a messenger of God, so he has the name of God, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Gabriel, all of them are okay, but the first two letters represent their main goal on what they are. So Hamas, the evil that he has, is the evil from the Satan, from the Sam, Sam, yeah, from the evil force of this angel, the angel of Amalekites. Amazing. So Hamas basically represent this power. Yeah, this Hamas, evil force of the Satan, and this is what we see how you behave. Never mean. By the way, Abu Mazen, the same Gematria, yeah, Hamas, no, also a great terrorist, yeah, no doubt, yeah, I want to buy part. These are the same thing, this name, Abu Mazen, the same Gematria. So, this is a Patach. This is the Hamas. I have to do a lot with the Sam. Now the question, no, what happened to his friend Patach? Hello. What is, oh, they have the Chet also, definitely. They have the Chet, the sin, poison, yeah, destruction, evil, all of this he has. But what do you have more? Pat, Peta. What is Peta? very famous, very known, Kabbalah, Peitaf, is 480. Yeah, Pei 80, Taf 400, 480. No, what is 480? There is a very famous evil force, angel. Yeah, it is a woman, <laughs> the wife of the masculine about that what we spoke about Sam Kel, yeah, and her name is Lamed Yud, Lamed Yud Taf, Lilith, yeah, Lilith. So, 480, Lai, 30, 10, 30, 10, and 400. No. So PLO, Patach, is a power which have to do with this evil force. This evil force becomes strong, unfortunately, for transgression, sins of immorality, yeah? Men and women, this is what they got the power from, while the, the Sam gets the power from not believing, not keeping Shabbos and so on. This is why the leftists are concerned with the other. Like in Israel, the leftists don't want Shabbos, no purity of life between men and women, and want, don't want to war, yeah? This is, this is exactly the power which brings Lots of power to us evil forces. Terrorists are created with these sins, yeah? So there are two ones. It means that Hamas mainly represents very evil force of, of really atheism. I mean, anything against the Torah, against the Sabbath, I mean, against God. Yes, they believe in God, but for their God is only to kill and to murder. So, this is a sum, leftist, but Patach from the other side is the evil force, which unfortunately becomes strong through the transgression of homosexualism, anything which has to do with lust. Interesting, yeah. So this is Patach, as we said, Pat, 480, and Chet, the poison, the evil force. So God wants to tell us, Exactly, you see, terrible troubles, yeah, from those evil forces, but you must know that they are created from transgression to what? Transgression to Shabbos, immorality. Yeah, this is what God wants to teach us, no? Yeah, we don't like it, no? If you don't like it, it doesn't help anything. The effect is effect. 
So, Patach and Hamas. Yeah, these two powers, evil forces, that want Jerusalem, yeah, they want Jerusalem. <laughs> they are Gimat at Jerusalem, but oh, exactly they want Jerusalem for opposite purpose. Yeah, it's now we know they use every place they have to kill, to murder. Israel gave them nice place, yeah, Gush Katif. What they change it for? Basis of shooting missiles. <laughs> Israel thought, no, who will give them, will be peace with us, they'll be so happy to get such a beautiful place. They saw everything, they saw the synagogue there, everything there. No, what we got? We got Oslo. The disaster of Oslo, which Professor Ips already found at that time, and clearly, Bible code indicates it will be disaster and Paris is guilty because he brought Arafat back and so on. Everything in a very small significant table, but yeah, people disregard the Bible code, unfortunately, even though great scientists said if it is right, it is the greatest discovery in science from 300 years ago. No. And great rabbis like we have letters from Hashem Zalman Oyerbach, Zazal, from Fischer, from Albers, from Silman. This is to advertise because this is the basis of faith in written Torah, Torah from heaven. And the Satan is strong, you know, this Satan is the summer, yeah, the summer, the snake who is hissing, yeah, the summer is closing. You know, the shape of the summer is round, yeah, closing, closing our mind, closing our heart, unfortunately. So, so much one can speak about this, but one should know that our troubles, you cannot be solved with politics, not Biden will solve it, not the left and not the right. We will solve our problem, God. God is good, very good. You spoke about the meaning of the word God, who is good. Yeah. But as I said, everything we have free choice, yeah, that is the evil inclination was created because it's the purpose of man to fight, not... <laughs> yeah, this is the purpose by man was created. Yeah. Angels, God, have a lot in heaven. <laughs> Even people who are flesh and blood and manage to control and direct their traits into the right way. So in the light of the troubles that we have saw now from Patach and Hamas, yeah, we should really try to strengthen our faith in God because Amalekite, our Rabbi said us, came because of lack of faith. The Torah tells us that when Jews ask questions about God, there is God with us, no, immediately came Amalek to fight with Israel. Then they transgressed the Shabbos, they created the Shabbos. Immediately after came Amalek, yeah, because Shabbos is the basis of Judaism, of the Torah, of the face of God. You don't believe in God, you're looking to us, so you have the Hamas and Patah, what we have today. What can do this? The Amalekite. This is Amalek. Very cool nation, Amalek, a nation to lick the Jewish blood like God. You see what Hamas is doing. Yeah, licking the blood, yeah, chopping the head, doing all this burning people, and these some people who justify them, frightening. No, this is what happened also in Germany, here yeah, in the Holocaust, that the whole world were quiet. When Jews were burned, thrown into the furnaces, young and all of this. But they will pay for this, no doubt. The time will come. <laughs> the time will come, Ooh, They will pay very, very <laughs> heavy price for what they did. Yeah, we need patience, but what we have to do to repent, yeah, because the Rambam says Israel will not be redeemed unless they repent, but Israel will have to repent. Like in time of troubles, like the Sixth Day War and the Yom Kippur, many Jews, Israelis, became Orthodox. They realized that there is no God, without God, <laughs> there is no future to Israel. Yeah, the thing now, frightening. You have the Torah, you have the Rambam, who says clearly that if no faith, no keeping the Shabbos, 
you will not be successful. Now, the things that will be successful now, they think, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but Hashem managed to kill a lot of Hamas, but there are others. There is Yemen, there is Iraq, there is Jordan, there is Lebanon. There are many things which unfortunately support this massacre of the Hamas. So what we should do? Do tshuva. This, uh, I don't say this, the Rambam says this. If you know, I think the people who preach the Rambam, he was a good doctor. Yeah? No, in his laws, he has in his books, very important, famous, which is called Ilchot Shiva, the loss of repentance, how to do Shiva. Important. Tashuva, return the hay instead of the chet, yeah, of Hamas and Patach, of the evil. Chet, what is chet sin also, so how is chet? Chet, yeah. So, important. I think to understand that God give names to nations, people to know with whom we are dealing. What is Israel? The name Israel. Yeah, Lapid, Israel, Israel. Israel is straight with God. Yashar with God. Sarek is the minister of God. Yeah, so how can people left this who don't believe in God? Say Israel, Israel, Israel. What is Israel? What, what is it? You call it Palestine, the new Palestine. But what is Israel? Names. I want to tell you that if there is a name of one of the leaders, not Jewish, does not have to be at all. Those names don't have to be Jewish names. Hebrew or something like this. Here I'll give you there is a tractate Yerushalmi who tells us about Nebuchadnezzar, you know, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the first temple, you know the story. So I must tell us, what is his name, Nebuchadnezzar? Oh, he's not Hebrew, he's Aramaic, but what it means? So he said, Nabu, Nabu is to bark, to complain, and to bark all the time. Nasar, in Hebrew, Nasar is a very small bunch. So I must tell us that Nasar, that Nebuchadnezzar, was very low, it was very low, small, and he had the inferiority complex of like Napoleon. Napoleon also on a pool, he was <laughs> down, yeah? And this inferiority complex that he has brought him the, the, the inspira inspiration, the, the, the real desire to control the world. Inferiority complex, we you know, oh, oh. can bring this our Bastellas. You know who is the Bukhadnesa? No. It was important for the rabbis to know exactly with whom we are dealing. And so, and the Asiana, if you want to know about more names, so read my book, What's in the Name? You can get it in Bible code, in the, the site, gladiasonbooks.com or gladiasonbooks.com. Or also in Amazon.com. You can see there are many more of my books in different languages, also in Russian, Japanese, yeah. All those who appreciate the Hebrew language, the Holy Tongue. It's an important, very important lecture about meaning of language.